welcome to match four here so on the board we have ambassador is the first thing that stuck out to me always a big deal whenever it's present also there's mountebank which is usually a big deal whenever it's present um there is no draw on the board which is an issue there is plus action in your hamlet and plus buy in your hamlet uh there's trashing in your spice merchant and ambassador but there's no draw and for that reason i don't think Horn of plenty will work very well it seems like you just want to get thin with ambassador and put back some money in your deck dense treasures like silvers and golds and play with mountebank that really seems to be like the game plan here so first of all you have to well that's so that's my plan right so i'm gonna open with the ambassador and the spice merchant a very nice pair i find very very nice pair they work very well together so it's merchant and ambassador and there's lots of cheap things to buy on the board actually and very useful cheap things even the poor house could be quite useful so i'm going to open these five merchant and, and the ambassador in an attempt to control the size of my deck and then start to add mountebank and big treasures to my deck that's the game plan right so we go in that way we both open the same way spice merchant ambassador three here for me now i am going to stick my plan token the trash in token down on the hamlet Hamlet is the pile I want to target first, and I believe it'll help me to trash a little bit alongside my Spice Merchant. So lots of trashing on the board. Uh, why do I want the Hamlet first? Because it's plus action, right? Um, maybe in the near future I'll be playing um, Ambassador Mountebank, a couple of poor houses. That's also a deck you could build here, right? Hamlet and two poor houses. I could get you to province real quick. So that's why I went put the token down on the hamlet my opponent does the same here and i am gonna pick up one hamlet here that doesn't hurt at all for the cycling to pick up the hamlet even though i am not going to trash anything um, i still do want the hamlet in my deck at some point here my opponent does make use of their token right away and trashes with the um hamlet purchase so hoping to see my ambassador here and luckily I do so I'm having good draws so far nothing's missed the shuffle and I've seen my ambassador on this hand that's beautiful I can ship two estates across and I really need to given that I have four in my deck now it's kind of wild so here look it is a bit too early to add the poor house to my deck which is what I was thinking however however I'm still gonna buy it because I can advance it. So even if I see it at an inopportune time, it can be advanced into a mountebank. That's the only reason I bought Poor House there. If it weren't for advance, it was probably a shade too early to pick up the Poor House. Maybe on this shuffle, then you pick up the Poor House ordinarily. But um, like I said, advance made me pick up the Poor House at that point in time. So my opponent also goes for a Poor House. So we both have similar ideas it seems so far i'm not finding either the ambassador or the poor house and hamlet also has a nice interaction with the poor house right if you do happen to find a couple treasures in your hand hamlet could get rid of it then you play a poor house for max max value so here um just going to try to keep ahead of the deck size thing again right a hamlet and another poor house like i said these poor houses can be advanced even if i don't have the actions to play all of them um advance helps with terminal collision and hamlet can give plus buy so i could potentially advance twice which is incredible poor houses into double mountebank that's a big jump it's a lot of value there so i have to go ahead and discard for an action here i believe because i want to play at least the ambassador and one poor house i mean i could have discarded for the buy then hope to draw into two poor houses and double advance those uh, as it is it would have worked out but i didn't know that for certain i didn't know that i would join the second poor house but double advance in poor um the two poor houses here would have been immense so um illustration of what i was talking about right advance alleviates terminal collision that gets advanced directly into a mountain bank there and um we are looking in real good shape right now the deck is is very thin under control i would say almost almost i could have a bad shuffle here i was left in the deck spice merchant ambassador mountebank and maybe a copper so if i draw the copper 
it's still okay. I could buy double Hamlet and trash two estates. So I, I would say deck is under control at this point. Uh, my opponent has been purchasing quite a few Hamlets, which is fine. They've been trashing with those sometimes, sometimes not. But like I said, the Hamlets at all don't hurt. So here I am going to make use of the poor house in this instance and not advance it. So Hamlet will allow me to trash here and stay ahead of the, the deck size thing. And with the extra money, I think I'm just going to pick up um, a, a poor house, not a warehouse, sorry, a poor house. So uh, again, this poor house is really for advancing purposes. A couple of mountebanks in the deck, that seems pretty strong. And the mountebank attack um, can't really be so easily dealt with by the ambassador. Ambassador returns one copy of a thing, right? It doesn't, like mercenary would kill copper curse, but ambassador can't do that. So, in addition, right, if you block with mountebank, it means you don't have your curse in hand to return with the ambassador. So it's a, quite a few issues, quite a few issues with, um, use an ambassador to defend against mountebank. It isn't the best thing in the world to defend against your mountebank. Watchtower here would have been much uh, more preferred as a defense to mountebank than the ambassador, for example. So here, um, this is going to be one advancement into another mountebank and a gold here. So we go in along with our plan, right? We have the couple of mountebanks, we have the deck under control, and now we're starting to add big treasures in. And hopefully we could pull through. <laughs> pull through with our treasures and provinces and whatnot. So, um, advance up this poor house into the second mountain bank. And we are on our way. So my opponent actually takes one more turn here and resigns. I guess um, he wasn't having favorable hands for him here and ambassador games can get out of control rather quickly so i felt maybe he thought it wasn't worth his time because it doesn't come back to me there so maybe and he doesn't get to see his mountain bank either so maybe all of those things um prompt him to resign in short order here so that's how the first one ends thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one